FBI, BLM dug their own grave Clive and Bundy case declared mistrial. Clive and Bundy case declared mistrial. It's taken three years, but the Clive and Bundy family and their supporters finally have a sliver of vindication. On Wednesday, the case against Bundy and two of his sons was thrown out of court. After realizing that important facts were kept hidden from the defense team, and records about shocking behavior from government agents were buried, Chief U.S. District Judge Gloria Navarro declared a mistrial. The Bundy sons have spent nearly two years in jail after being accused of instigating an armed standoff with authorities. After Wednesday's ruling, they were released into house arrest but are still not completely free. It may not exactly feel like a win for 71-year-old Clive and Bundy, who has spent years tangled in the court system, but it certainly looks like a loss for Obama-era bureaucrats. The decision is the latest in a string of failed prosecutions in Nevada and Oregon against those who have opposed federal control of vast swaths of land in western states, reported Fox News. Separate charges against the Bundy family involving their occupancy of a building have already been tossed out. Jurors acquitted the two Bundy sons of taking over a federal wildlife refuge in Oregon for more than a month in early 2016 and amid calls for the U.S. government to turn over public land to local control, continued the report. In other words, nearly all of the federal government's claims against the ranchers have fallen flat in court. And now people are asking hard questions about how the entire case was handled. There are strong indications that the government purposely concealed evidence that could have helped the defense in the case, which is a blatant violation of civil rights. The government is obligated to disclose all evidence that might be favorable, chastised Judge Navarro before she declared a mistrial. Those memos and other documents, about 3,300 pages in all, were not turned over until well after an October 1 deadline and then only after repeated efforts by Bundy's defense counsel, reported Reuters. That non-disclosure of evidence could be just the tip of the iceberg. While there were many half-truths and conspiracy theories being floated at the time of the 2014 rancher standoff, many of the most vocal supporters of Clive and Bundy may have been right all along, government agents were engaged in questionable and likely illegal activity. The judge had hinted last week that trouble was afoot reported Fox. She sent the jury home to review sealed documents following closed-door hearings over complaints about the conduct of FBI and Bureau of Land Management agents during the standoff. Jurors got a glimpse of the claims when Ryan Bundy, who represented himself, spoke at opening statements about seeing government snipers and surveillance cameras positioned on hilltops surrounding his family home in the days before armed supporters answered his family's calls for help. The report continued. When a whistleblower within the government raised the alarm about how abusive government officials were behaving, he was kicked off of the investigation in what appears to be a cover up of the government's actions. That investigator, an agent named Larry Wooden, wrote a scathing memo which accused the Obama era government of targeting the Bundy family, laughing about abusing them, and casually joking about people's deaths. The memo said agents who planned and oversaw the cattle roundup mocked and displayed clear prejudice against the Bundys, their supporters and Mormons, reported Fox. Despite the fact that a mistrial was declared, the accused citizens have not been completely exonerated, and a new court trial with a completely different jury could possibly still go forward. However, the previously concealed evidence and new information about abuses by government officials would likely give the ranchers a much better shot at acquittal than before. Navarro set a retrial date for February 26, 2018, but it is uncertain if there will be a new trial. Acting U.S. Attorney Stephen Meir said prosecutors had yet to decide whether to pursue the case. Defense lawyers will argue for charges to be dismissed and a hearing set for January 8, Reuters stated. We saw it in the IRS targeting scandal. We're seeing it now with a clearly biased FBI. It's the same story with the Bundy case, unelected cronies within the Obama administration targeted conservatives, and made it their mission to use three-letter agencies as political battering rams. These appalling actions need to be exposed. It may have taken three years, but true justice is finally being served, being served.